Hello, welcome back. And of course, if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Tracy, and in this video, we are going to go over the story of the bird monster of Point Pleasant, West Virginia. So stay tuned. bird monster of Point Pleasant, West Virginia, was also termed the Mothman. And this Mothman or bird monster terrorized the area of Point Pleasant, West Virginia in this town um, and the surrounding area. It was between November of 1966 and December of 1967. So, um, also, these were chronicled in the 2002 hit movie starring Richard Gere called The Mothman Prophecies. So, I'm sure that you guys have heard of stories surrounding this bird monster of Point Pleasant, if you've seen that movie. Um, so you're kind of aware of the story, but I just wanted to share with you something that I had read about it because it was so creepy and so many different people claim to have had experience with this moth man or bird monster creature. So it says here, a devil-like winged monster with glowing red eyes, Mothman's appearance came quite literally out of nowhere and some say culminated in high tragedy and death. But what was the Mothman of Point Pleasant? And how did the legend begin? To answer those questions, we have to go back to the dark night of November 12th, 1966. And that is when five grave diggers were working in a cemetery in a nearby town of Clendon, Clendonin, and they were shocked to see what they described was a brown human shape with wings. And it rose out of the thick surrounding trees and soared off into the distance. Three days later, the unearthly beast surfaced once again. It was at the highly appropriate time of the witching hour when Roger and Linda Scarberry and Steve and Mary Millette, two young married couples from Point Pleasant, were passing the time away by cruising around town in the Scarberry's car. As they drove around the old factory, the four were puzzled to see in the shadows what looked like two red lights pointing in their direction. These were no normal lights, however. Rather, all four were shocked and horrified to discover that in reality, these lights <laughs> were not lights at all. They were glowing, self-illuminating red eyes of a huge animal that, as Roger Scarberry would later recall, was shaped like a mothman. So, it says shaped like a mothman, but bigger, maybe six and a half or seven feet tall with big wings folded against its back. Not surprisingly, they fled the area at high speed. Unfortunately for the Scarberries and the Millettes, however, the beast seemingly decided to follow them. As they sped off for the safety of Point Pleasant, the winged monster took to the skies and shadowed their vehicles every movement until it reached the city limits. The four raced to the sheriff's office and told their astounding story to Deputy Millard Halstead, who later stated that, I've known these kids all their lives. They've never been in any trouble and they were really scared that night. I took them seriously. And even though a search by the area 
of the area by Halstead did not result in an answer to the mystery, the Mothman would soon return. Early on in the morning of November 25th, yet another remarkable encounter with the mysterious beast took place. As John Keel noted, Thomas Urey was driving along Route 62, just north of the TNT area, when he noticed a tall, gray, man-like figure standing in a field by the road. Suddenly, it spread a pair of wings, Yuri said, and took off straight up like a helicopter. It veered over my convertible and began going in circles, three telephone poles high. Kiel reported that Yuri quickly hit the accelerator. Nevertheless, Yuri added, it kept flying right over my car, even though I was doing about 75. Over the next few days, more sightings surfaced, including that of Ruth Foster of nearby Charleston, who saw the winged monster late at night in her garden and who said it was tall with big red eyes that popped out of its face. My husband is six feet one and this bird looked about the same height or a little shorter, maybe. Needless to say, the local media had a field day with this story. Tales of what were referred to as the bird monster hit the headlines while both the skeptics and the police ensured that their views and opinions on the matter were widely known. Dr. Robert L. Smith, an associate professor of wildlife biology at West Virginia's University's Division of Forestry expressed his firm opinion that Mothman was nothing stranger than a large sandhill crane. This hardly satisfied the witnesses, however, of course. In response to Dr. Smith's assertion, Thomas Urey said, I've seen big birds, but I've never seen anything like this. As for the local police, they offered stern warnings to any and all would-be monster hunters contemplating seeking out the mysterious creature. As the Herald Dispatch newspaper noted, Sheriff George Johnson said he would arrest anybody caught with a loaded gun in the area after dark and warned that the scores of persons searching the abandoned powerhouse in the TNT area after dark risk possible serious injury. In the weeks and months that followed, further encounters with the bizarre beast were reported. However, they were overshadowed by a tragic event that occurred on December 15, 1967. When the city's silver bridge that crossed the Ohio River and connected Point Pleasant to Galapagos, Ohio, it broke away from its moorings and plunged into the river, tragically taking with it nearly 50 lives. Although a down-to-earth explanation was most definitely in evidence that a problem with the single eye bar in a suspension chain was to blame, many took the view and still do to this day continue to take the view that the Mothman was behind it all. Or perhaps was trying to warn people of the area of the impending doom that was to come in December. But what of today? Does the Mothman still fly and terrorize? Maybe so, and perhaps even outside of the United States. Now, I thought that story was so creepy because it did state that the Mothman is usually accompanied by tragedy and death. And then it went from November until of 66 till December of 67. And of course, it all kind of culminated in December of 67 when the bridge went down and killed 50 people. So 
I don't know. What do you guys think? Was this like a prophecy of the Mothman? Was he warning the people of Point Pleasant that impending doom was coming? Or was the doom because of the Mothman and his um, stay in Point Pleasant? Or were the two things seemingly incoincidental? I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. It could be anything. But thank you guys so much for spending your time with me. I love you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.